parents have a boat and her parents have a boat and we both um, you know know what it takes to like go out in a boat and what to own a boat so that's why I've chosen a kayak because <laughs> <we've seen> <laughs> sink. it doesn't cost anything to run and um, you don't have to get it registered or anything so we've just gone with like simplicity and yeah, it's cool. You get to eat what you catch and catch a weird animal that you don't see every day. You can see why heading into the wind or trying to go out west with this much wind is it's not worth it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can uh, get us to stop drifting with this piece of cup that I'm holding right here. And if it'll hold us, then we're good. It's the same thing the sea otters do, so they don't float away. You just have to be attached to these. I've been in Santa Cruz my almost my whole life. I've been to every beach in Santa Cruz. I know all the streams. As a kid, I used to play in all the mountain streams and catch a steelhead by hand. That's kind of, I guess, where I started fishing was as a little kid catching steelhead. This is a little smaller one that I've already got splayed open, so that way he'll look injured. This is a monkey face eel, but yeah, these are good lingcod bait. In a second we're going to go out to the mile blue and we're going to drop him down on the halibut rig and look for lingcod. lot less fish. Um, some fish have been completely almost fished out and they're now in danger and the size of the fish has gone down. We used to come out here and catch fish and I mean you could catch striper from the shore, you can catch bass, sea bass, and halibut right from the shore and now it's just a far and few between. Yeah, I try to get the younger kids into fishing so that way they'll learn to preserve the fish and take care of our coastlines because it's much different than it used to be. There's a lot of trash out here too. Well, this is the red rock crab. Let me close him. So you can catch all the fresh fish that everybody just caught today, and take all the carcasses, drop them in your crab trap, drop it down, and get very. Beautiful. You got free bait. You got free crab. Beautiful. Very yeah. cool. It's awesome. Turns Thank you. So what we're going to do with him is we're going to put new fresh scents on those guys. Those are all rock cod. It's my friend's boat. Hey, he's, he 
He's small. <laughs> yeah, small. You want crab? Yeah. You want the crab? I'm looking very good. I'll give you crab. Here. <laughs> okay. Come over here. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. Because all of us are going to drink some crab. I, I love and him? Uh, say five. Five dollars. Okay, we'll get more. A lot of the sea otters, I've seen otters, I've seen orcas, I've seen lots of whales, lots of sharks. I mean, that salmon we saw today swimming by the boat, that was pretty neat. One lonely salmon. Chilling on the top of the water. How much is it? Uh, Ten dollars a pound, which is two sixty, right? you guys have bags or anything? Yeah, do, you, ice do, you, do you have a bag for them? You I don't, don't have anything. Okay. I'm just here buying. I'm not here selling or like. But that's somebody okay. turned you on to me, so that's a good thing. Wait, uh come here from other places you know they're from a bigger city they're just not used to this beautiful and pristine of an environment the problem is if they keep on leaving their trash it just won't be beautiful and pristine anymore you keep hearing you know like all places to go um, fishes to catch and like the sizes associated with these fish that people catch and like how many and stuff and like what you actually need on your kayak it's just like endless information um, that's mostly I think what excites us is like the adventure of like going off from land and like catching animals that only live in the sea. That's like the biggest part of it. <laughs> 